Welcome back, everybody, to the New Orleans Saints franchise on Madden 24. We get our first division battle rematch today with our second meeting against the Carolina Panthers. And both teams enter with identical records. The Saints are coming off a tough loss against the Detroit Lions and are hoping to get back on track. There is a three-way tie atop the NFC South right now, and we're playing some of our most intense games of the year. We're facing a really hot Panthers team that has not lost since their bye week, winners of their last five games. We first played them way back in week two, and I disregard that matchup because it was Bryce Young's second career game. I'm guessing a lot has happened since then. I know our team is nothing like it was back in week two. But the Panthers have now found their formula, and they're doing just enough offensively with Bryce Young, who looks to be a promising young quarterback. But they play excellent defense, and they win low-scoring games, avoiding mistakes, keeping teams limited, and just trying to do enough offensively. And it's gotten them into the postseason hunt this year, and possibly the division hunt. Players like Jonathan Mingo have grown throughout the season. I'm expecting a tougher matchup than what we saw in the second game of the franchise. What worries me most with this team is their front four. Frankie Louvu has nine sacks. Derek Brown's a great young defensive tackle, and while he's not producing, I'm still worried about Brian Burns and the impact that he can have. And we gotta get our game back on track. We regressed last week, failing in the red zone, did not cap off drives or take advantage of chances that we had. And against a team playing as good a defense as Carolina, it's not one you want to waste your opportunities against. But well, welcome in everybody, back in the Superdome and underway against the Panthers. And Shahid's gonna take this from the goal line. And makes a move, getting up across the 20, and he stopped right at the 25-yard line. Derek Carr has had a lot of good games recently, but last week wasn't one of his best. His accuracy took a step back, and there were points out there that we could have had to make that game very different. He opens with two tight ends and starts play action. Rolling to his right, he drops it off to Alvin Kamara. It's a gain of six. The motion man is Taysom Hill. This is third down and one. It's a give to Kamara. Not the smoothest play, but I think he got the yard first down. Ball at the 35 as Carr back to pass. Feels the rush and steps away from it, getting what he can, a gain of five. But now Chris Olave a little shaken up on the play and he's gonna exit the game. So that could be big, obviously. You don't want him missing any time. A.T. Perry takes his place. Michael Thomas also on the field. Third and five. Carr knocked down by Shaq Thompson. And the Panther D gets a stop. So just how far has Bryce Young come in his rookie year? 11 touchdown passes to only three interceptions. Chase to his left away from the pressure. Bryce will tuck it and run into Marcus May. As he gains one, he's a little slow getting up, but he's not exiting the game. Got to be tough to be a quarterback. On second down, Bryce to his left on the move. He throws an interception. It's Paulson Adebo. And the Saints will take over with the short field. Tried to make a play for the rookie Jonathan Mingo and threw it a bit ahead of him. The Saints have it at the 33. Chris Olave in the game, by the way. Cars throw, caught by Johnson inside the 15. Jawan Johnson for 22, beating Brian Burns in coverage. And it is now a red zone trip. Carr rolling to his right, plays it safe, and Taysom Hill gets a couple. Too many drives stalled out in the red zone last week. On third and five, with time, Carr for Olave, and he does not get the first down. Not even close. So how do they approach this? Field goals didn't help them last week, and they look to be keeping the offense on the field now. And Alvin Kamara, he's lined up as the fullback as the Panthers rush. Carr has time, delivered to Thomas, touchdown. The aggressiveness of New Orleans pays off and they cash in for six. Nice job getting the points off the turnover, and it's seven nothing Saints. 
Young now with four interceptions thrown on the year. They'll run it now with Miles Sanders, and he gets a solid game, breaking first contact, a gain of seven. Getting up tight to the receivers on second down. Young downfield, that's knocked away by Tyron Matthew. Almost had Adam Thielen. They're going to press again on third down. Young rolls right, heaves a pass. Well out of reach for DJ Shark, and it's a three and out. Not the strongest showing here for the Panther offense as Johnny Hecker kicks it away. On the return, Rashid Shahid makes a move and looks toward the sideline and gets chased down at the 44, but a good run back. And here comes the Saints offense. Offset eye, Taysom Hill, the fullback, helping lead for Kamara. He's got some space. Outside the numbers and taken down at the 33-yard line on a very well-blocked stretch. All right, here's a new look. They have Kamara out wide as the receiver on second down. Carr with time, downfield, that is caught. Jawan Johnson inside the five. Another big catch downfield setting up this offense. A touchdown on the last drive. First and goal from the three. There's Kamara brought down by Luvu. Setting up a wide receiver screen for him. Now he reverts to the backfield on second down. And pressure gets to Carr. He is dropped. Frankie Luvu, 10 sacks on the year. Drops us back to the eight. This time, pressure off the edge. Jeremy Chin, another star for this Panther defense. And that will force a field goal. But we're happy we at least got one touchdown out of those two trips. A shot from Bryce over the head of Jonathan Mingo. Incomplete. And Young is yet to complete a pass. Third and five. This time connecting with Chark. And a big gain of 30 yards crossing midfield. They're trying to get the big plays against us after failing to do that in the first meeting. Screen now, feeling time, and he is up to the 34 with a gain of seven. A lot of empty here for Bryce, looking for openings. He goes underneath, and Hayden Hurst reaches ahead. Looks to be enough for a first down. Starting to get something going on this drive. Sanders to the right. Big opening inside the 20 and stopped by May at the 17. Inside the red zone for the first time. And it's Sanders up the middle behind some good blocking by Calvin Throckmorton. Panthers finding some balance on this drive. Now with some extra tight ends, it is close to the first down as Davis makes the stop. And despite needing inches, they go empty. Bryce Young spreads the defense and throws it quickly for the incompletion. Tyron Matthew put the hit on Sanders. And they will bring out the field goal team. They play it safe while we got aggressive on our first red zone trip. But they get points and it's a 10-3 ball game. Ten minutes to play in the first half. Saints take over, a play fake. Eyes downfield and wide open. It's caught. A.T. Perry got loose. And it's a 41-yard connection as the Panthers lost the rookie. Saints again moving the football outside the red zone here. It's second down and Carr is picked. He threw it behind Taysom Hill and it's Xavier Woods who makes the play. The Panthers catch a huge break as Carr again just misses one you expect him to make. Now a second down for Bryce Young. He floats to his right and finds Miles Sanders as the defender left his coverage. And it goes for the first. Hurst is slot right on first down and the pass goes his way. Coming away with it. First down. Young starting to settle into this game after some early misses. Sanders now. Great block from Ian Thomas, and it's another first down with the Panthers starting strong 50 yards on seven miles Sander carries. On the edge of field goal range already. Young chased right, delivers to Hurst, and he gets out of bounds at the 27. 
We go inside, six to play here in the first half. Third down, Young protected. Spins left, has Sanders, but he doesn't get there. Stopped a yard shy. Frank Reich played it safe the last time, and he will do the same here on fourth and one. Eddie Pinheiro splits the uprights, and we have a 10-6 ball game. I do like how we've moved the football so far against the Panthers, but some missed opportunities. Thomas holds on, first down. And Andres Pete, the right guard, a bit shaken up on the play. Cesar Ruiz, the right guard now, getting in the second level. Here is Camara, still fighting for yardage, and eventually dragged down by Luvu. But a determined run from Alvin Camara. Out to the 36, it's Carr, scanning, and that's Johnson, caught for a gain of nine. Johnson playing more of a role in this one. Third and one, going inside, and a well-blocked play gives us a first down. Again, getting into Carolina territory. Three minutes on the clock as Carr beats the blitz. It is Camara. Gain of eight. This is the edge of field goal range again. They keep it manageable. Spreading out this Panther defense. On third down, caught first down, Alvin Camara. You know, he hasn't made too many catches lately. That was something I wanted to see corrected this week. Off the fake now. Here's a shot that gets picked. And it's Woods for the second time. If this ball's out quicker, you can probably get Jawan Johnson. And if he just turns this route flat or just sits down, that's great. But he runs right to Xavier Woods and we screwed up what could have been a nice play. Another big play from the Panther defense. Two minute drill, incomplete for Bryce Young. Looking to get them off the field quickly and it's a run on third and 10. Another safe call from Frank Reich. But is it really safe when it basically guarantees you're giving us the ball back? Play fake, Carr opens the drive with a pass to Thomas. It took away Olave that time. Brings up third down. Olave kicks inside, and here's Brian Burns coming clean off the edge. And it's a three and out for New Orleans. Lou Headley to boot this right back to the kiddies. And inside the 20, fair caught by Amir Smith Marset. A lot of ex Vikings on this team. That's another ex Viking, Adam Thielen, with the catch first down. 37 seconds on the clock, a long way to go. Young resets, there's the wide open Thielen. First down, Carolina. Surprised they haven't tried giving him more easy looks like that. Pressure forcing him left, now Young's picked again! And it's Alante Taylor, his first of the year. Bryce Young, he's getting risky outside the pocket. He's gotta know what he can and can't get away with. He's getting away from a lot of what he's done already this season. Now Carr's got a chance and gives it right back! Intercepted Dante Jackson! It's a turnover fest here in the first half. Another one that's thrown too late. These are really tight windows we're not even close on. Young, laser outside, caught by Mingo. And they're going to set up Pinheiro for what would be a career-long 64-yard field goal, way short, and Rashid Shahid doesn't even return it. And that's going to give us now a chance to throw the Hail Mary. With time to go, one last heave from Carr. It'll get there, and it is incomplete through the back of the end zone. And that will end the first half. Again, we're seeing missed opportunities out of our offense, but at the same time, opportunistic turnovers, forcing field goal tries, we lead it 10-6. Not always pretty, you just gotta outscore the other team. And that's what the Falcons are doing right now, sharing an 8-4 record just like us. They are leading the Bucks 13-zip. And this game's also very playoff relevant. Lions and Bears. And currently, the Lions are up 14-7, trying to get back-to-back -back victories. Of course, that would be sparked by their game against us. 
Bryce Young came in with three interceptions on the year, and he's already thrown two. Carolina just six points to show for their efforts so far, and Sanders gets stopped. He is dropped by Nathan Shepard. Backing up one yard, Young looks to the air. Downfield, caught by Mingo. And there's almost no separation there. That's an incredible catch by the young second year receiver. And that's one of the best plays Panthers have found today. Ball at the 44, a four man rush. And that pass is behind Hurst. It is picked off by the Honey Badger. We're not dropping these today. Another interception of Bryce Young. And we've seen Carr throw the same one today. Just a little offline. Three picks for this defense that hasn't gotten many on the year. Derek Carr trying to clean things up as he fires downfield and it's knocked down. Kind of tricked us there with that coverage. That play action's gotten hundreds of yards this season. Third and four, pressure's on and Carr throws incomplete for Camara. They're just a bit off again and the Carolina Panthers defense is very opportunistic. A 10-6 game. Young to the outside, right on time for Thielen. He's had some really good throws, but the consistency isn't there. And I just realized too, Thielen, he's got an interesting right cleat. It doesn't match his left cleat. Hopefully won't get fined for a uniform violation. Hand off to Bryce Young, funneled inside to Demario Davis. Hand off to Miles Sanders, rather. Third and four, Young to the outside. Nice footwork, first down, Miles Sanders. They get across midfield. As many mistakes as they've made, one play can get them the lead. Off the fake, intercepted! Marshawn Lattimore, the fourth pick of Young. These guys are looking to steal that football today. We got playmakers in the secondary. Back to Carr in the offense. A strike and it's caught. Held on to by Chris Olave, who only had a couple catches in the first half. That needs to be corrected. First and 10, Olave makes the catch. Two catches in the half already to the Carolina 34. They've shown they can move the ball. Can they protect it? It's Camara finding the opening and getting good yardage, continuing to battle a gain of nine. He earns a rest. Miller the carry following Taysom Hill and he gets just enough first down. Miller's going to stay in there for a little bit. Off the fake, here is Carr and Olave makes the grab. Went to the ground securing it. And that's his third catch of the drive. He had just one catch in the first half. Rolling off the fake car to the end zone. Too far for Thomas. And those plays really throw off that red zone flow. On second down against the Blitz, it's Camara tripped up on the shoestring tackle by Woods. But he does make it goal to go, and they're just one yard out. Taysom Hill in. Leads the way, Camara across the line, touchdown. Much better possession that time for New Orleans. Camara and Olave were the stars of that possession, and they lead this game 17-6. With three to go in the third quarter. Young has thrown four interceptions now, and Sanders will take off some of that pressure as he gets the first down. But Young has to start protecting the ball better. Sanders right side, a lot of room to run. One of the better performances against this defense this year as he approaches 100 on the ground. Final minutes ticking off here in the third quarter and Sanders hauls in a first down catch. They're letting him carry this possession and he's brought them all the way to the red zone. Looking for their first touchdown. It's Young with time. Has Thielen out of bounds. Ran out of space in the back of the end zone. One second left. It's third down. Young floating. Back of the end zone. Intercepted. It's five. Marshawn Lattimore gets his second. How about this footwork? 
Excellent job reading that play. Phelan came from the slot, and he makes sure he keeps his feet in bounds. What a day for this secondary against Bryce Young. Here is Kendra Miller working outside. A nice move upfield as he does get solid yardage. 17-6. Carolina trying to reward their defense. To the outside, Camara a little behind him. Allowed Frankie Luvu to make another big play. He's been really good. We do not see Andy Dalton in the game for Carolina. Bryce Young is still out there. And the catch is made by DJ Chark. Three picks before today. Five in this game. Young keeps, gets the first down yardage. 9.23 to go in the game. Bryce throws quick. Has Thielen, who escapes the weak tackle attempt by Lattimore. Close to a first. On third and one, a fake. And a shot that is off the mark as Thielen was open underneath. A bit more underneath that receiver. But fourth and one, they will be forced to go for it now. Down two possessions. Saints trying to clog it. They cannot do it. Sanders converts. And he has reached 100 yards on the ground. Adjusting the play. Sanders hesitating and finds nothing. How about that stat right there? One of the worst teams at taking the ball away has five today, and now Young misses Terrace Marshall. That was a opportunity. Third and nine with time. It's laid in beautifully, and Thielen makes the grab. The offense is so much better when they throw it his way. 6.25 on the clock, and it's Sanders now. Good block from Hurst. And he runs into Lattimore around the 12-yard line. Carolina getting a great game out of their free agent pickup, Miles Sanders. Nine yards out, carries again, cuts it left, gets a block from Bryce Young, and is stopped at the one. Goal to go, Carolina, as close as they've been all day. They pitch it to Miles, and he finds nothing on the edge. Lost a couple, actually. They have not scored a touchdown yet. Rolling left, Young's throw, caught, touchdown, Ian Thomas. Finally in the end zone, and it's a one-score game. Their defense has made plays. All they had to do was score one touchdown, and they'd be in this thing. And now they're going to be set up for a two-point try. As we're just inside four minutes, trying to make this a three-point game. It is caught by Hayden Hurst. 17-14. This one ain't over. We've let the Panthers hang around in this one. And now we have a game with four minutes to go. One receiver on the field. The drive will open with a Camara run to the outside. He gets hammered to the sideline, which stops the clock. The Panthers looking to get one more drive. Taysom Hill leads the way. Camara hit down by Derek Brown. It'll be third and three. Olave on the left side. It is a throw on third down. Carr throwing for Olave has the first. On the drag route, he was wide open. We'll go inside three minutes to play. Play clock winding down. Inside give and met by a pair of Panther defenders. It's a three yard gain. Second and seven for the Saints. The back is Miller this time, and he runs hard through first contact. Four-yard gain. The Panthers have spent their first time out. Looking for a third down stop. Saints needing three, head to the air. Car outside, grabbed by Olave to move the sticks. That was a tight throw. See it one more time. Jackson playing off, gives him room. And just enough getting both feet down. New set of downs. Here is Miller now. A run up the gut for four. And the Panthers have just one timeout remaining. Kamara in the backfield. He was stuffed and had to force it outside. And he got stopped. No gain. Third and seven. It comes down to this play. Panthers need a stop. Saints trying to end it. Carr's got time. Olave caught it. 
First down, Saints. That's a wrap. We'll sweep the Panthers this year. Chris Olave with three conversions on this drive. The closer takes us to nine and four. We could have played a lot better today, but we close out those final four minutes and don't give the Panthers one more chance. They had their opportunities. 17-14, Saints win. We have a winning record now secured for this year, still in first place in the NFC South. And despite not playing our best football, we still find a way to win. A lot of interceptions in this one. I know things have gotten really sloppy here lately. The first interception, you know, that's just uh, bad accuracy. You get those all the time in this game. The second and third, I've got to have better timing there. These are not wide open throws. The timing actually has to be right. As much as I try to scheme up wide open plays, they're not always going to be there. I thought Frankie Louvu had heck of a game against Trevor Penning today. He uh, gave him a lot to handle, but overall, I'd say Penning has improved this year, and I feel better about his outlook as a long-term starter than I did towards the beginning of the season. Good to see Alante Taylor make a play, and the secondary was all over the place looking to intercept passes. This was a big win for us. We end a team's hot streak. We get some extra experience out of it going into these last four games of the season. And these boosts right here, 2,500 XP universally is so nice. Nine and four ain't too bad. If the season ended today, we'd be division champions in the fourth seed in the NFC. The teams above us are pretty strong. We've only played one of them, and that's Green Bay. But the standings have been shaken up. The Packers are down to third place, and San Francisco is now in that top spot. And Green Bay lost to the Giants this week in prime time. So they are now the two seed. Daniel Jones had a pair of touchdowns against Green Bay. Saquon Barkley, 101 yards and a big day for receiver Isaiah Hodgins. San Francisco top Seattle in a 17-14 game. Pass game struggled in this one, but it was the running games doing a pretty good job led by the performance from Christian McCaffrey. The NFC has been shaken up this week. Could it be shaken up even further with our big meeting against the New York Giants in our next game? This is a big one. Now, because we've been competitive this year, I haven't spent much time talking about the NFL draft, but I've taken some time to go through players and at least get a loose idea of what I want to do and players I like at each position. So let's go through that a little bit. The last mock draft actually had us in position to take a quarterback that is projected to go top five. So I'm not sure I can trust that. Chad Watkins, if he were available, I'd have to think about it because I know I want to secure our quarterback of the future. But unless somebody like Watkins falls, I don't see that opportunity actually being there. I don't think it's a particularly strong quarterback class. I have 94 players on the board. And two are quarterbacks, I'd probably consider Watkins as well to be on the board, but not realistic in my eyes. I feel like we have a chance to maybe go with a day two, day three quarterback. And Darnell Greenwood, to me, shows the ability to be at least a solid backup. We'd see if he could be more. But at the very least, he has capable accuracy. I'm also thinking about running back and who could be the future starter post-Alvin Kamara. Kendra Miller, to me, doesn't have the full skill set. I really want to get a good pass catcher there. I'm also looking at the wide receivers, particularly possession. I still prioritize good route runners, but I don't think receivers are a high priority. I like our depth with A.T. Perry, Rashid Shahid, but you'll, you'll probably end up taking a receiver at some point. I do like Kirk McKee a lot, but he's projected to go mid-first round. And it is a strong tight end class. So even if you miss out on a guy like Kirk McKee, who could be uh, a team's number one or two playmaker, there are starters littered throughout this draft. And I see us having a chance to go mid-round tight end if we want to. I like our tight end situation as well. But this is a strong position this year. I like our offensive line. I'm just not sure we can continue to afford the offensive line. So I'm thinking a lot about some of these players early 
And there is a starter, a starting caliber player I like actually here in Luke Rowe, who's not projected to go until rounds three or four. I'd want to get some more info on him, but athletically, he looks above average, and he does have good pass block skills. There's a lot to like. I think he's going to go overlooked. I also have a few tackles I like early in this draft, but I still think we're going to spend early picks trying to get this defense younger. Outside linebacker was our big position of focus, and I don't have a lot of players that I love, but there's probably a few good players in here. I think that some of the defensive ends are actually better defensive tackles, and there are really good, versatile run stoppers in this class. I'm also looking at true off-ball linebackers, and here is a player to keep an eye on in Alabama's James Bolden, who is a mid-round projected player, but has round one talent. We love his athleticism. An outside linebacker, I usually do not trust good grades for coverage. So I'm assuming this is actually not that great, but he's a first round athlete and there's enough to like, even if the coverage isn't all that promising. The middle linebackers, you can usually trust their coverage ratings. And I'm looking at some pass cover specialists because we're thin there. And we've had to use some guys out of position when there's been injuries. But a guy like Marcus Reese as a day three pick might actually get playing time with us. I like our secondary as well. But I think cornerback is really intriguing this year. Tommy Tomlinson is a six foot four corner with man and press ability. Fits exactly what I like to do. And despite not having a huge need there, I'm going to be really interested in Tommy Tomlinson. At 6'4", that's rare size at corner. Don't see too many 6'4 corners. Well, how many 6'5 corners have you seen before? Tyrell Stoudemire. Check this guy out. Doesn't have blazing speed or anything, but he's big, he can press, he does have the A-man cover ability. You know I'm interested in these corners with this size. I want to play press, I want to play man. Cornerback is super intriguing right now. If you'd like to see me go in depth on position groups in upcoming episodes, let me know what you'd like to see, and we'll go through more draft info. But we're playing meaningful football here late in season one, nine and four, and we have some really key matchups here on the horizon. The last two weeks, though, we haven't quite played clean, good football, and that'll be one of my focuses down the stretch that we are at least playing at uh, the right level going into the postseason that we plan to be a part of. Next week, one that has a lot of playoff implications with the Saints and Giants, and I'll see you all then. Thank you all for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it, despite eight interceptions total. Although, I didn't throw most of them. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and the Saints will be back again soon. Have a great day.